Well, what do you think of this toilet? It's gonna be one of them days. <laughs> this is where I would edit all the videos you guys watch. <laughs> we love our aminals. Pound protein, uh, pro, pro, protein tank, protein tank. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, today we are back at Sun Camper in Fort Pierce, Florida. We hope you're having a good day. Today we are looking at a Radiance. We're looking at the 28QD. So let's get right into it, okay? Right up here up front, we got two 20 pound protein, uh, pro, pro, protein tank, protein tank. Well, heck, you know what they are. All right, come on. <laughs> Over here, storage. <laughs> Plenty of storage, nice big opening, lots of storage in here. This is really neat. I can get some nice bins in there, okay? Um, they do have electric jacks, if you notice the little button here. So you don't have to crank down the jack, you just hit the button, the jack will go up and down for you, So, which is kind of awesome. It has a huge awning, covers almost the entire side, which is really neat, okay? Got the uh, decent upgraded wheels. I'd probably look into some tires after your first couple thousand miles, but the wheels are kind of nice. Back here, uh, you got a nice outdoor kitchen. Look at this. There's a sink in there, a micro fridge, and a stove with some storage up top too. So if you're entertaining, you want to grill or something, you got some nice room out here. There is a spot, by the way, for you to put your, your pets, right? Your uh, tire is bumper mounted. Uh, so you don't have to go searching for it if you need to change a tire. It's right there. And it is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. Everybody say hello to Lisa. Hi. <laughs> Lisa's working a camera for me. Lisa's trying. Here is your outdoor command center, right? You got your power, you got your water, your, your fill tanks. It's all right here. Your satellite connection if you're doing satellite or TV, all right? Nice big slide. Oh, and just beneath is your flush, is your sewer. It's where you uh, flush your tanks out, if you will. You've got your gray, you got your black, you're good to go. So let's check out the numbers. Gross vehicle weight, 9,600 pounds, and a cargo capacity of 28.95. Now this does have a step above step, which is kind of nice. I'm not sure if I pointed that out before. Now, right when you come inside, if you see, there is your command center, your indoor one, right? This is what you put your slides out with, your awning, your lights, your water tank, or meaning your, your hot water, um, you can, see how full your tanks are just by pressing these little buttons. So it's really cool. Just to the right of that when you come in, here let me back up a little bit, you've got your TV or your entertainment center, right? There's a Furion sound bar here which is real nice. Now this is a, on a swivel so you can pull it out and twist it a little bit. And some nice storage down here for a few things, okay? Right here is your sofa. And so if you are watching TV, it's going to be a little bit of a slant. Um, but not too bad. This does pull out to be a bed, which is kind of cool. Now what I want to point out is, if you look down, this floor, I've been wrestling with this floor in Radiance for a little bit of time. We did another Radiance not so long ago. I'm not sure what to make of this floor. It is really easy to keep clean, but I don't know, is it just too busy? I, I don't know, what do you all think? Let me know what you guys think of this floor. All right, yeah, leave a comment down there. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Next to the sofa is your banquette. A normal size banquette with some storage underneath which is awesome okay and this does convert into a bed now I hadn't pointed out the windows are really decent size so it really opens it up with the blinds when they're all the way up it just gives it a nice feel and the blinds they're they're just traditional blinds they're not day night roller shades or the accordion they're just normal blinds which, which are kind of nice all right now across from all of this is the kitchen so we have here our refrigerator and this is um, by Everchill, and this is stainless. We do have a microwave here, a three burner stove, and we do have an oven in this unit. Um, we have a large sink. Yeah, it's pretty And big. a nice tall faucet. Mm, residential faucet, nice. Yes, we have lots of storage overhead, and we have decent storage underneath as well, which is really surprising. Most of the uh, travel trailers have smaller storage underneath the seat. Mm -hmm. And there's some drawers over here as well. well. There is a little bit of a storage area back here, a little bit of a pantry, right? So this is, I guess, where you would keep all your food. All right. Now what's behind here? Whoa, look at this. 
I wasn't expecting this. This is a whole nother room back here. It's a separate space. Look at this. Wow, it's a whole bunk room. This is neat. And get, get yeah, grab that. Yeah, look at this. This goes up and it locks into place. All right, so if you're not using it, you, you've got like, this would be my little editing room. This is where I would edit all the videos you guys watch, right here. All right, there's actually, uh, behind me, it's like a, you put a, a, like a magazine rack, kind of built in or put papers or whatever. That's kind of neat. So, but when you're done using this and you come out, you can put this down and you got a bunk. Now, if you didn't hear, that was really tight for me. Now, I'm not a big guy when it comes to this way. I'm tall guy come to this way. And so that is a little bit tight. There are two other bunks over here. There's storage underneath. We've got a little storage over here as well and some drawers. There's a place to mount a TV back here if you want to put a TV in the back room. So all in all, I mean, this is kind of a pretty neat space. Um, not so much for adults, but definitely kids because these beds are kind of, they're kind of tiny, okay? So let's go out here. What's behind this door here? You know what time it is. It's time for Tom and Toilet Test. Ah! Well, what do you think of this toilet? <laughs> well, the one nice thing about this bathroom is there's a little bit of extra counter space in here next to uh, the sink. Um, and so you, you don't see a lot of extra counter space in bathrooms. This one's actually got a little bit of extra space. There's some storage down here. That's solid, so there's no, well, oh, no, it's not solid. It's just hard to find the handle. Got a little bit of storage there, okay? Your medicine chest up here as well. So um, not a lot of place for, for your linens and things. So uh, let's try the shower. Okay, so we're in um, great, great height. I mean, I'm in the bubble, so it's fine. Um, down here at the bottom, you know, with the tubs in here, it makes it a little tough for standing for tall people because, well, first of all, this thing's in the way, but because it slopes in, I mean, it's just, it's tight. I mean, I'm like leaning against the wall and my shoulder is still outside. Um, you know, I just, for a tall guy, again, I'm six foot four, if you're less than say 5'10", this would be great. But anything more, it's, it's a little tight. So I'm not gonna give it a thumbs up, not gonna give it a thumbs down. It, it is just a little bit awkward. All right, so we're up in the bedroom. All right, so we're up in the bedroom, in the master, and uh, it says king, but we just measured it. It's uh, 80 by 71. Just strange number, I don't know, okay? <laughs> Plenty of storage. Left and right and above. I, I love the little cubbies they have up here now. It's kind of really cool. There is a charging plug up in there for you to plug in your USB, which is kind of neat. Uh, there is a place to mount a TV on this little half wall up here as well, which is kind of cool. So, um, and what's unique about this bedroom, and I'm not sure if Lisa's seeing it, but there's two doors. And the reason why I say that's neat is there's such little space in front of the bed, it really is hard to shimmy through. So you could go out the bedroom, go in the other door to get to the other side. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of neat in that aspect, all right? What did you think of this floor plan? This is uh, the second Radiance that we've been in. And as I mentioned, still trying to figure out if I like this flooring or not. But again, what was really neat was this back bunk area. I really liked that it had this little table. It may have been a little challenging on the far side, but it would have been okay on this side. All right, let us know in the comments what you think about the floor. Until the next time, everyone, be safe.